Hey guys, how's it going today? All right, so today we are using this um, stamp by Carabelle Studios and um, we're going to use this and it kind of reminds me of, you know, I don't know, like a dream catcher and a wolf and I don't know. It's got some uh, feathers, so we're going to make that one of our feather parts, hopefully. Let's try anyway. What do you think? Um, so I just, well, I don't know which one you'll actually see first. Um, but I just did a frantic stamper haul and, uh, maybe I'll put that right there. Um, and I got some really, really pretty paper in, um, and it's got like dream catchers and things on there. I wish I'd ordered more of it now. I only got two sheets, but you know, leave them alone. Um, so we're going to use that today. I, don't, I put up a friend, or I haven't put it up yet, but I have a frantic stamper haul that I just filmed. Um, but I don't know which one I'll end up uploading first, whether it'll be this one or that one. So I know those upload times. <laughs> Um, I still have not, this is not doing too good, is it? Um, I kind of like the white rubber, though. That's kind of cool and different. I think Carabelle does that on all their stamps, it seems like, anyway. All right, just a little more there, and I think we're good. Maybe I need the ink. I don't know if it's the stamp or my ink pad. It's probably my ink pad. I need to ink it up a little bit. Okay. So, um, I'm doing a square card today, so that's pretty cool. And I've actually got a couple more square cards in the feather line to do. And then I promise after that we will kind of take a break, I guess. And um, do a couple other cards. But then I, ha I do have to come back to feathers because I really I just have a lot of feathers to do. Um, still a lot that I want to use. So... Yeah, no. Let's do some. So, what have y'all been into? I feel like I haven't talked to y'all in a while. Um, I haven't been doing that much. I've been busy, but not really doing like doing anything something I'll say. But um, as you guys know, or some of you know, um, my boyfriend's aunt is really sick. And, uh, she is the 97-year-old that, um, they moved in together, like, with his mother. And, um, so he's been taking care of her. And, um, she is, I don't know, she's just not doing very well at all. Especially the breathing. And she's got heart conditions. And they think congestive heart failure. And, um, now her kidneys are shutting down. And it's it's tough, um, but she's such, like, she's such a positive-minded person, you know, like, I don't know, I could, you know, if medical stuff get in the way, she could easily live to 100, like, easily, but, um, I do think she's getting pretty, pretty down these days, so they want hospice to come in, but she just hates hospice, and she didn't like the way that they treated the sister, and, kind of did by her, and, um, so she said she did not want hospice, and she just wants home health, but, you know, home health will only do, like, so much, and then they want you to go to hospice, it's, anyway, it's a mess, but, um, I love that, I love that, um, all right, let's see, <coughs> but anyway, her trilogy machine, um, which is kind of like a I don't want to just call it a breathing machine because it's like a ridiculously high machine. I mean, it's it's way more. Um, Shipmate, you can chime in and explain the trilogy machine, maybe. Um, it's way more like intense than that, I guess. Let me see here so I can get some of these colors here. I had those out from the other one. I think I'll try that one. Um, but anyway, it, uh, when she has, like, an episode or a spell or whatever we call it, um, then the trilogy machine, she only normally wears it at night, 
and she hates, she hates that mask. I mean, hates it. And um, it does like Velcro completely all around her head and it's gotta be really tight and it hurts her nose and all this stuff, so. Um, but anyway, so now she's having to wear it some through the day. It's like, um, she can't get the carbon dioxide out of her lungs and it kind of helps that. So, um, but that does seem to help, but she can't, the, like the hospital bed is like right here and then her other, like recliner is right here. And, um, it's like, it's just completely wearing her out just to move that far. And, um, we have like a potty chair in there for her and, but she kind of keeps fussing about that, especially like if right now, um, her other nephew is there and she does not, I guess, just pride, you know, and, uh, she doesn't want to like smell up the room and use the potty. And the guys are like, oh, we don't care. We don't care about that. You know, just do what's good for you. And, but she does not want anything to do with that. So, um, she's trying to go, which is just like one room over, but you know, when you're having trouble breathing and moving and whatever, it might as well be Mount Everest. Um, so, but she insists on going to the bathroom over there. So, I don't know. When I'm there, she'll, she'll do the potty for me. And, um, but not so much for them. So, let's see. Let's give him some. Let me just get the tips and then maybe I can like color it all together. Um, but anyway, she's, she's having a tough time, which in turn means that he's having a tough time and he's not the greatest in dealing with it anyway. So, um, definitely not cut out to be a nurse or anything like that. He does not do well with that stuff. Um, but you know, he's there, so it's something. Um, but anyway, so I've just been going up there a lot. And one time we thought she was dying and I rushed up there and flashers on like passing cars and everything, trying to get there, you know, so I could kind of like say goodbye to her. And then at the same time, you know, he wouldn't be alone or whatever, but, um, but she did pull through that day. So that was great. And, um, I don't know. But anyway, so just basically a lot of that kind of stuff. Um, she, it seems like every, I think of it like in dog years or something, like every, you know how, like they say dog years, you, it's like one to a human year one, you know, dog year seven, whatever. I think that's the way her days are, you know. Um, so... I don't know, y'all. I don't know if I even want to get old. It's looking pretty rough. So, okay. And that is smearing like crazy with the black. I really should emboss it or heat it or something. I did hear the other day that if you just heat it, not even have to emboss it, that it won't smear. It makes it permanent then. So, I'm going to have to try that. But, for now, it, it kind of gives it maybe a little more... A little color or something. Who knows? <laughs> a little more blended something. But anyway, I've been thinking about stamping a lot more than I've been doing it, which is my normal uh, go-to thing. <laughs> but anyway, uh, oh my gosh, you guys have to check out this video. Oh my gosh. Her name is Tiffany Solorio, I think. It's S-O-L-O-R-I-O. -O. And, um, I don't, she's probably got other videos up by now, but, uh, at the time that was the latest one. So just look back, you know, two or three or something, but it's called, um, mind blowing embossing folder techniques or embossing techniques or something. Anyway, um, she actually calls me to order some stuff. So if she's getting paid for whatever, she's doing her job. Um, so yeah, anyway, total total enabler there. <laughs> um, but anyway, she, um, she kind of inspired me to get some more, which you'll see in the hall, but to get some more, um, sprays with the oxide sprays and as well as the, uh, 
regular dist distress spray stains. And um, so, but I've been wanting those anyway, but then seeing some of her techniques, I'm like, oh, yes, yes, yes. But, and I have that full, full set syndrome, you know, where you really want to have one of whatever of all the all the colors so but now I need to get to using them so I can at least justify that purchase you know actually still have some other sprays from Xena Wakely that I really want to use I think I'm gonna do that brown and just a touch right there we have a new um, a new Dollar Tree opening soon. I'm excited about that. Alright. So, could I get away with coloring the feathers? I'm gonna try. Ooh. I've been playing. I look like I have yellow hands. Been playing with some yellow stuff off camera here. Alright, I'm gonna do every other feather this color. I should probably take my time and do each little line and all that, but eh, there's no time for that. Um, anyway, actually there is a little time today because, um, like I said, his, uh, my boyfriend's cousin came in and so he is staying there and kind of occupying um, her time and his time and fixing a couple things. So that is nice. And uh, not that, you know how, I don't know, people start to, like right before you die, people start to do stuff for you. You know, they'll they'll fix this or that or something they've been promising you for years or whatever, which is really annoying to me. I mean, my aunt used to say, give me, give me my roses while I'm alive. And uh, she loved flowers and things anyway. And, but you know, a figure of speech, but still, um, but we'd always take her flowers, by the way. I don't know. Anyway. Um, she lived on a farm and she was just, it was fun going up there and she just loved all, all nature, all, just all the little things. It was, she was an amazing person. Her name was Jewel, actually, my aunt Jewel, and she was truly a Jewel. Um, but anyway, um, hmm, should I do the ears pink inside or another I've got a darker gray out, which was what I was planning on, but I'm not sure. But anyway, so just a note for today. Do stuff for people while they're on this side of the ground. I mean, you know, if you've got something to do, do it. If you want to say something to somebody or special or whatever, you know, use the special towels, use the special soap, whatever you want to do. Just don't wait, I think. But, uh, so, tip of the day. Life is short, and we've got all this other craziness. Oh my goodness, going on. Let's talk about that for a minute. Ugh. Um, with the new, you know, the Delta variant and all that being so much more contagious. And have you guys heard of monkeypox? Seriously, that's a thing. Um, shipmate, if you've heard any updates in the medical profession, watch out for monkeypox. Let me know. Um, I don't know. I've heard it can cause blindness and it's, it looks like heck, um, on the skin, like the boils and the, or the big thump things, I guess. I don't know what you call them. It's kind of like chicken pox times 20, but they're like swollen up. It's horrible looking. Looks painful. And, um, but anyway, um, it was some fierce blue eyes. And where's that lighter one? Okay. Let's just trace over these. I'm not going to really color them. I'm just going to go over the line there. Um, I like that. I think we should wink a still it up a little, but I like it. Um, anyway, there's, and then there's some kind of new fungus or something that's really bad in, um, 
couple hospitals in Texas. They haven't, I don't think, released the the names of the hospitals at this point, but um, I don't know. So, just too many things going on, y'all. <laughs> but um, hopefully, going back to school, we will at least mask up. Some of these states are scaring me when they're, you know, leaving it up to whoever and whatever. And because you know, people are not going to pick masks. I mean, they're uncomfortable to wear and hot and whatever, and nobody wants to fool with it. I get that. Um, I, nobody's taking my mask. I'm sorry. I'm still wearing my mask. I may be wearing my mask for a long time, but, um, too much stuff going on. Um, but you know, if everybody's not doing it, then that's kind of a moot point. So, but I think in the school systems, at least, you know, they can't, there is no way to spread the kids out. We couldn't even do it with half the kids. Like we had half on homeschool or home band, you know, whatever, it's, whatever it was this time. And then half otherwise, um, or half with us. And we couldn't even, <laughs> we couldn't even manage that. So like, and spread them out like you were supposed to or whatever. It was so funny. They, first they said six feet. Ha ha ha. Yeah, right. Um, let's glue this together. Um, so if we can't handle that, and then we were, then, you know, I think it was, I don't know if it was the CDC or the school board, somebody said three feet was okay. And, um, so, so then they started, you know, trying to work with that. Well, we couldn't even get that. So if we can't get that with half of the student body, then... You know, come on, people. So, at least, at the very least, I feel like we could do his mask. But, and I know everybody's like, oh, it infringes on my rights, blah, blah, blah. Well, you know, you don't really have the right to kill people. And if you're going to basically murder somebody uh, just because you don't have a mask on and spread it, then, you know... Where do your rights end and somebody else's rights begin is what I always wonder, but uh, that's a little, little whatever there, but people used, I mean, just take the political whatever out of it and have some common sense, you know? Wouldn't that be nice again? Where did common sense go? Alright. I probably could use a third one of these. A third layer. I really think three is kind of the the um ugh, yuck. The magic number. Where where is that thing? Kind of judge it by that a little bit. Um, I love this paper though. I'm totally grooving on this paper. But please mask up, y'all. If nothing else, for just so you can come back here and hang out with us and talk about some crafting. Because I don't know. Whatever. There was another. Big church outbreak here, shocking, <laughs> but uh, I think, well, it's it was big for us, okay? It might not be big for like a massive church, but this is a small church, and um, I think it had like 25 members, and 19 of them are positive, <laughs> so, you know, just be careful, y'all, just be careful. All right. I'm just going to put that down in the corner there. And then this, I kind of want to tuck it in behind, but I kind of want that to be a focal point too. So we're just going to put that on top. I guess there's not much room, so we're just going to have to glue it. Doo -doo -doo. I've got a couple more square cards, like I said, um, that I want to show you guys maybe on the next video here. And then we will be moving on to bees. 
Bees, bees, bees. There are a lot of bees out of my carport right now. Shoo. Driving me crazy. Every time I get out to the, off the car, I like run. I do have some bee spray, but sometimes I hate to use it. <laughs> I don't know. Not a bee fan, but they are they are alive too, you know. They are I guess it's supposed to go this way. Look at that. Just that one little it's off, but it's not it won't come off. Okay. So sometime, probably not this time, probably not next time, but I'm going to come on here with like happy news, happy, happy, blah, 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 and no humdrum, somebody's passing away or COVID or whatever else. Just going to, it's just going to be pure sunshine, pure bliss, y'all. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is my, um, I think my square card for the day and, um, Anyway, what do you think? <laughs> so, I hope you guys are doing good and staying safe. Bye, y'all.